Test another pair here. Over on this side, stack. And on uh, this one we have 2.8 volts. So a little bit of a variation there. Point seven nine two point seven oh. So on this side, two point seven six. This side, the voltage is a little lower than the other side. On this side here. 0.75. All right. Well, voltage looks good. I'm gonna go ahead and put some electrolyte in this and uh, see what she does. Probably gonna mix electrolyte pretty thin on this first run here. See what kind of gas production we can get. Okay, we've got it running. This is the first time I have mixed six liters of distilled water with two teaspoons of sodium hydroxide so it's a real weak real weak electrolyte mix there it is in the bubbler that hose in the bubbler is a uh, five-eighths inside diameter so those are big those are huge bubbles and we just got to run it over into a bucket here to me it looks like uh, without taking a measurement on it it looks like about about two and a half three liters a minute right there so not much took a uh, amp measurement on it calibrate this Okay. There we go, 3.4 amps. And let's see if I can get the voltage here. Hundred and thirty four, hundred and thirty five volts. Well, that's good. Between the plates. Two point two six volts, so that's a little lower lower than I wanted. I want to be in the two and a half volt range. But we'll see how it goes. I'm gonna let this run for a while, let it let the plates condition just a little bit, and I'm gonna um, double the amount of electrolyte in it. See what we can pull. All right, there you go. She's cranking away. I don't have a measurement on the production yet, but I did put seven liters of water in and I put six teaspoons of sodium hydroxide.
like about seven amps. Voltage is holding steady around 131 volts. In the next video, I'll do a uh, production test. See how much we can get out of this. I'll let the cell condition a little bit more. See how high we can get it. I think that the uh, <coughs> voltage between the plates is uh, a little low. I want to get it over 2.5 volts. So I might take a plate out of each side. Because I do want to get this over 20 liters a minute, and I think it is possible with this with this setup. So uh, stay tuned, I'll be doing that video shortly. This is Steve from greenfuelh2o.com if you like this video please leave me comments any questions I'll try and answer them if you do like this video please uh, click my name I think it's right over there it will take you to my channel where I have uh, many more videos for you to view thanks for watching everyone